When solving a quadratic equation, the first thing you want to do is put it into standard form like this, which means that I'm going to need to get the 2x and the 4 to the other side of the equation by subtracting them from both sides. So on the left, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4, and on the right-hand side, everything cancels and leaves me with 0. Now that I have something in that form, I want to identify my a, b, and c. Because x squared doesn't have a coefficient, it's just like having a coefficient of 1. b is going to be negative 2 because I subtract 2x, and then c is minus 4. Now I can put them into my quadratic formula to find my solutions. 4 plus 16, of course, is 20. So I get 2 radical 5 because it was 4 times 5, which was equal to the square root of 20. Now that works out pretty nicely because I can now simplify. The negative of negative 2 gives me a positive 2. And under the radical, negative 2 squared is 4. And if I do a negative 4 times 1 stays the same, times negative 4 makes it a plus 16. So this is going to end up being radical 20. To put radical 20 in simplest form, I want to look for perfect square factors of 20. And of course, 4 goes into 20. 20 is 4 times 5. So if I take out the 4, it'll be this. Uh, if it comes out of the radical, it's a square root of 4, which is 2. Which is going to leave me with 2 plus 2 radical 5 over 2. So those 2's are now going to cancel out. And I'm left with my solutions in simplest radical form, which is going to be 1 plus or minus radical 5. To get a better sense of this, I can uh, use a decimal approximation. Since the square root of 5 is about 2.2, this means about negative 1.2 or positive 3.2. If we wanted to just take a quick look at this on a graph to confirm our findings, let me bring up a graph for you. So here's a quick graph of uh, x squared minus 2x minus 4 that I did with Desmos, and we can see that the zeros are in fact around negative 1.2 and at a positive uh, 3.2. Looks like we have our solutions there, so that matches what we were saying. Again, simplest radical form is probably the nicest solution for most situations, but if you want a rough decimal approximation, uh, these will work. And then of course you could get a more uh, precise decimal approximation if you wanted to as well. Hope that helps. Thank you.